All right, this video will be the goodbye to an old friend video. And the old friend is the Smith & Wesson MMP45, which I've owned for a few years now, and I've really enjoyed it. However, now that I don't like guns anymore, it's time for it to move along to someone who'll enjoy it more. You might remember it from various videos where I took the safety off, uh, or I talked about its battle damage. Uh, somebody was willing to overlook all the battle damage and buy it anyway. So I just figured I'd do one final video with it. I've been a big fan of the M&P line. I hated the external safety and Murphy's Law. I didn't buy one of these in black. I waited till the, the Dark Earth came out. It came out in Dark Earth. I needed a 45 ACP to replace my 1911 or my HK, I guess, at the time. So uh, price was right. I bought one. Like five minutes later, they came out with one without the safety. You know, that's how it works. Uh, I like everything about it. I really like the, the various grips that come with them. Uh, I do actually switch it out quite a bit. I enjoy shooting it. The sights are great on it. Out of the factory, or from the factory, it came with a set of night sights, which is everything I'm looking for. They're a little bit too angular here. I'd like to see some sort of a notch, so if you need to uh, improvise, you know, rack on the slide on something, it facilitates that a little bit better. Uh, right now it has the Costa, so I've got the Costa patch out and the Catalyst from 21st Century Gunfighter, um, the extended mag release, which actually most people are not a big fan of, but I imagine for competition and stuff, it's great. It's, it pushes out from the gun a bit. Uh, I've never had any problem with it. Um, you know, just like anything on a firearm, as far as ergonomics goes, some people are going to love it, some people are going to hate it. Anyway, it's on there, but I'm stripping it out with the other ones that I had, as well as the uh, the one that came with it. It also comes with a couple of magazines. Uh, I don't need the magazines, so I'm going with the extra magazines that go along with it. And this is probably the the weak link, the thing I like least about it, is that in order to get a 13-round magazine, it comes with this. I didn't add that, and there's really not an option to get it without it. But to put a 13-round magazine in there, that's what you end up with. And uh, I don't know anyone. I mean, literally, I know a lot of people that are in a lot of weird guns. I don't know anybody who thinks that's cool. I mean, I really don't even know how that got out of a design stage. I mean, I like Smith and everything, but what is this? I don't even understand it. So that's the thing I like least about this gun is these extended mags. And you can, I guess, take this off. I never really bothered to. Um, but it's ridiculous, really. I just don't like them. So uh, otherwise, though, they have witness holes on the back. They're numbered. I like that. 10 round uh, capacity, 10 plus 1 which is kind of weak, honestly, for such a great gun and everything. I guess they're trying to keep it narrow or whatever, but a Glock can hold 13. The, I bought an XD because it can hold 13. So uh, that was the only real weak thing about this is the capacity in the magazines. Otherwise, great gun. Um, you do need to switch out the triggers, just like all the Smiths, uh, or most people prefer to switch it out. And I'm getting rid of this Apex trigger kit, which I never actually installed, so I'm not much of a trigger uh, aficionado I guess so for me it worked fine I was gonna install it to see what it was like but I never even got around to it uh, why because you probably need a gunsmith I don't think I wanted to tackle it I would have had a gunsmith do it and I just never got around to getting an appointment to do this, do that anyway I'm not dogging on the gun I like it uh, but it is leaving so you won't see it in any more videos uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comments wherever you happen to see the video and as always thanks for watching